Um, I'm Jeff Stetson. Um, I'm an associate professor at uh, the University of Illinois, Chicago. Um, I'm both a clinician in internal medicine as well as um, in the Department of Medical Education. And I'm also a co-founder and CEO of this group called MedEd Mentor. It's a website and our goal is to help anyone who wants to engage in scholarship related to health professions education to be able to do that. Um, I found, uh, as a clinician, I found getting into the field of education difficult because it's more of a social science than a basic science. Um, so I'm trying to make that transition for other people easier. Um, yeah, so we're trying to get the word out about this group and this company. Um, uh, we're technically a company, but we don't, it's free. We don't charge any money. Um, we uh, did not, our goal is to make a difference um, and not make money. But it made sense to make a company because my partner and I work at different universities and things were getting confusing and uh, a company helps to streamline it all. Um, and yeah, we just want people to start using it and give us feedback and help us make it better. So. So I think, so I, I'll only speak to the American perspective because that's what I have. Um, we don't, we don't teach our doctors how to teach ever. Like it is not, you graduate, you become a doctor, you become a clinician, and then they say, go teach people. And they assume since you were taught that you know how to teach, but I mean, my, my son just finished kindergarten and his teacher had to get a degree in teaching, had to pass like certification things, had to be observed for over a year to teach my son kindergarten. Yeah. And we give nothing to people teaching people how to be doctors. Um, and that's insane to me. <laughs> so what I also do at University of Illinois Chicago is I teach people how to teach in the clinical setting. Um, so I'm the director of clinical faculty development. Um, so I'm very passionate about this. Um, so I'm giving people some of that foundational information. They need that. But then I also think um, being observed and giving and given feedback is the other thing. And that's what I, I actually love what you all do in videotaping people doing things. Yeah. It's a perspective we often don't get. Um, we don't get to see ourselves do things. And while it's very uncomfortable to watch a video of ourselves, yeah. like it probably will be to watch this, um, it's really important to know uh, what you look like, what you sound like, how you come across, because we have no idea what we look like and sound like um, unless we watch ourselves. So your group is providing a really valuable resource um, and just something we don't take the time to do often. So it's good. And there's, there's a science behind it and we don't know it and we care about facts and data and evidence and there is evidence for doing things a certain way and um, we don't teach that to our to our teachers so i actually uh at my last job at ucsf um, i taught people how to teach but i would videotape them teaching I would have them watch their video. I would also watch the video. We'd compare notes and do a reflection exercise on it. So very similar to what you all do. Yeah, so I think a great place to start is to find people you admire, find people who you think are doing cool work and you like how they do their work and you could see yourself doing that work and get to know them. 
and uh, just see what advice they have for you. Um, I think that's that's how I went about it, is just um, trying to talk to the people I looked up to and get to know them and um, learn from their experience, learn from their advice, um, uh, use them as role models. Um, so I think just try to picture, put yourself in the shoes of somebody and get to know that person. Thank you so much. Yeah. For your time. Yeah. And it's lovely to meet you. You as well.